Hey guys, Connor here with Chrome Designs and thank you so much for watching this video. Today we have episode 2 in creating a YouTube background layout and today we're going to be uh, creating something that I'm probably going to go along the lines of uh, the name Red Mist. Uh, we'll see anyway, but the actual design of the layout is going to look something like this, in fact. So I'm just going to deselect that. We'll zoom in here. And again, we're um, doing a part layout. I'm going to continue these a little bit, then I'm going to go back onto uh, the standard part layout. So keep tuned. Anyway, you pick up some tips along the way. Uh, but I'm actually using the new layout here. Uh, so uh, for these for you guys uh, just uh, wanting that, uh, I'm going to be forced to use it soon. Uh, there we are, coming at you. Uh, but that, this is it. We've got a kind of stone text in the middle with some nice side off uh, neon kind of glowing lines. And I feel look is quite nice, quite, quite simple and professional, something that I really uh, look for in my designs. Uh, so I think without further ado, we'll get started. I've got my template open here. If you don't have a template, you can search search YouTube. Well, I've got a video on it if you want to search it. I'm not search it, you can just go onto my channel and you, you'll see it in a matter of moments because it wasn't that long ago since I uploaded it. Uh, but anyway, we'll get started. And in fact, here we are. We've got a quite a nice little screen preview here. Uh, zoom in a little bit, so I might just flick back to this in order to kind of uh, try and get the best results in terms of uh, similarity to this as possible. Uh, so I think without further ado, we'll go ahead and make the background, undo the color overlay, and it's going to make a simple gradient and radial. Go, going to go ahead and reverse that, so it's black on the outside. And I'm just going to go and change the color from white to a dark red, maroon kind of color. Something that's got a bit of class to it. There we go. And also, I'm going to drag it up just a little bit. So it's at the top of the sheet. Obviously, you just do this by dragging. Make sure it's trying to be in the center. And my desk is kind of squeaking, wobbling at the moment. Uh, but I'll try and play through that. I hope you can't hear it. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to reduce the scale just a not that much. Something like that would do. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and make it a little bit darker, I think. There we go, that's looking good. I'll go ahead and go view actual pixels. And there we've got our banner. In fact, that's not centered up. I'll try and move it over just a little bit. I don't know, that'll do anyway. Uh, so, next thing I think we'll just go ahead and go straight into it. I'm just gonna make the text. Uh, so, I'm actually gonna make drink this out of the modules. There we go, and we're gonna go to text. Um, the font I'm going to use is, I think it's sl sliced AB. There we go. Oh, 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 good. Mm, 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 mm. Next tab, and we're going to kind of have this a red color, but I'm going to keep it uh, white for now. Uh, so I'm just going to put caps lock on and write Chrome. I'm going to edit free transform. I'm just going to make it bigger. You want, it to, you want this text to stand out as it is the main text of the document. In fact, I'm just kind of realizing here that I'm going to try and have to go quite fast to get, just to fit everything in. Uh, so I might be whizzing through this a little bit. Uh, there we go. And to get the kind of outer layer, as you see here, the kind of stone effect, uh, I'm just going to click Command and on the thumbnail of the Chrome text, make a new layer, go to Select, Modify, Expand, and I'm going to expand this by 10 pixels. And it's going to go to the Fill tool once that kind of region is selected, and we'll just fill it in. There we go, it's simple enough. Command D to deselect it, and you realize that the white text we just had is gone. That's because the uh, the fill that we just made is simply above the layer chrome. So drag it below, uh, just make sure it knows its place. And there we go, we've got the nice effect. Uh, on the internet, you may have just seen, we've got the stone text, so I'm gonna go ahead and just copy it in. I just typed in grunge, as you see in my Google search. Grunge, Google images, something that I liked, it doesn't matter. Uh, just give a nice stone effect. And add a new add a new feel to it. So we're gonna go ahead and control V that in. And that is actually a lot larger than the one I the one I kind of used to make this, but nevertheless we'll work with it and we'll just overlay it onto the text. Actual pixels. And it's gonna hit Alt and in between these two layers uh, here, I'm just gonna click and you see the little uh, the white and the black circle. I'm gonna create a clipping mask and you'll see we'll overlay uh, onto the chrome and immediately we'll add a few in saturation on that layer and I'm just going to lower down the lightness just a little bit in fact I'll use the create clipping mask on it and I'll lower the lightness down just a tad there we go that's looking okay that's okay yeah we'll go off that 
double click and on the chrome in fact, on this layer one we're going to add a uh, outer glow sorry and change it to black like so increase the size quite a bit and obviously this just adds a bit of depth to the uh, title makes it stand out that little bit more uh, so we do that leave it at that that's looking okay and um, I'm going to repeat the stages that we just done in terms of the layer uh, onto the actual chrome text so we're going to go control J on that and I'm going to drag it above the chrome and again hold alt and click in between the two layers and there we go we can immediately see it uh, but this is going to be in the same region so I'm actually just going to click and drag uh, on this stone layer and when you start to drag you can actually see the outline of the actual kind of picture itself I'm going to drag it to the bottom to really get some of that grunge in there and also displace it from the text uh, the actual layer used below uh, so it wouldn't look exactly the same and cheap uh, so now on the chrome uh, I'm just going to make a color uh, I'm I'm going to add a color red actually, yes, and I'm going to make the color a nice dark red. I'm going to change the uh, blend mode to overlay, like so, and immediately you'll start to see it as a nice effect. That looks quite good actually, I'll leave it at that. Uh, before we do so, go to outer glow, color normal, and we'll change it to black, and increase the size yet again. There we go, that's looking good. We've got a nice effect, it really really stands out and kind of draws your eye to it. Uh, one other thing that, uh, this is a good tip, in fact, this is the main reason for this series is getting the tips. And a good one is the inner glow. If you use inner glow and I change the color to white and I change the blend mode to overlay, it really does highlight parts of the text and it kind of increases the vibrance. So if you see, if take it out, it's quite bland and bold. But if I put it on, you can really see the lighter parts a little bit more. And I think it does have a great effect on the text. Obviously, if that's too strong, you know, you can tone it down. You can really bring it up if you want. Uh, but I think 75 works okay. Obviously, you can play around with it. It depends on what kind of grunge map you use. Uh, but no, that is a great effect. Um, I strongly recommend using that because it really does highlight certain parts of the text. Uh, so click OK on that. And I think as far as, as far as the text front goes, I think we're looking quite good. Uh, so now go ahead and make uh, this bar going on the outside. This is probably quite an easy bit. Uh, but nonetheless, I'll run you through it, and hopefully we can have something, something half decent and fully completed in no time. So just above the background, I'm going to create a new layer. Obviously, it needs to be below all the text that's going behind it. And I'm just going to make a black banner, like so, just a little bit, quite a bit bigger. I'm going to stretch right out to the end. Like so, there we go. Drag it up so it's in the middle. And there we go. That's looking good. Uh, let's make a new layer again and we'll go to uh, the line tool. And we're just going to drag out a line. Turn off caps lock. I'll hold shift to make sure it's straight again. And drag it out just as long, just on the top of that black uh, region. In fact, I'm going to control Z. I'm going to invert the colors to white just so you can see it immediately. Like so, zoom in just a tad, and that's looking okay. The ends don't really matter because we're going to be cutting them off for the fade, uh, more in terms of horizontally rather than vertically. Uh, but yeah, that's looking good. Uh, zoom out just a tad. There we go. So now we're going to go ahead and make the layer mask. There are the colors for this, so we're going to make the color, and we're going to go from red. And you see there's white on the left and red on the right. We're going to go somewhere in the middle, a nice pink salmon-y colour uh, for colour-wise. And we're going to get the outer glow, and we're just going to change the outer glow colour uh, to the actual red itself, strong red. Like so, you can make it a little bit darker if you want. Uh, but okay, that's looking good. In fact, on the original, I'm going to make it a little bit darker, maybe that's a little bit too light. Something like that is looking nice. There we go, okay, okay, and that's okay for that line. So we're gonna go ahead and control, go control J or command J on that layer and just drag it down to the bottom of that black mask, black bar rather. Just trying to get my words out. I've got a bit of a sore throat as I always do with these tutorials. Maybe not the one for me, uh, but hey ho. Uh, so we've got these three layers going on here. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're going to right click on all of these and we're just gonna go merge layers. And we go to the brush tool. And I've got the brush on 306, and this seems to work well for me. What I actually do is I just tap, keep continue clicking on the outside, 
Obviously, the hardness is on the zero, and I'm kind of getting a nice fade effect. So it'll be this clean cut and kind of tacky, if you will. So a nice smooth fade into the black. It probably does it ease on the black background as opposed to uh, the little vertical lines, but nonetheless, it still works cool. There we go. And merge them before, we'll obviously, make that make them mm, uh, even as long as you've got the brush reasonably in the middle. And but that's looking good, and we've almost there. The final tips, or the final stages rather, is the text. So I'm just going to go ahead and make a new layer right at the top here. Got a really messy Photoshop workplace going on. <coughs> Excuse me. Now I'm going to change the font to, you want a kind of bold font for this, not too bold though. I'm using, I think it's, I'm not sure, uh, Bitsumishi. Bitsumishi is the font, don't ask the font. It, I'm not one, I know some people are going to ask me the font now. And I'm going to go ahead and say it now, you're not going to be funny. Apologies for that. Uh, but anyway, we'll go ahead and type, I'm going to type Twitter in here. And I'm going to command J, I'm really going to drag it down. Hold shift and alt. Alt by OCD and shift just to keep it in proportion, like so. That's looking good. And add some final uh, blending options for this. We're going to go gradient overlay and I'm going to lower the opacity because it was on red. If we lower the opacity, you really kind of get the red effect. In fact, that's not even going to work. Uh, we're going to change the bottom color to a nice dark red maroon color. And the top to a kind of lightish color red, like so. And again, I'm going to use the same technique that we just used by doing the inner glow. So we're going to go inner glow, blend mode, overlay, color white. And we're going to lower the size down to about two, I feel. Maybe that does highlight the outsets of the text. So that's looking good for that. So we'll go ahead and click Command J. Drag it over to the right hand side. And obviously, this is going to be the Facebook link. Obviously, links to be whatever you fancy, or Facebook, Facebook. There we go. Facebook, and like that is really looking good. One other emphasis I'm gonna have on the text. In fact, no, I'm gonna leave it there for a second, purely for ease. Uh, Command J the Facebook. I'm gonna drag it up. Uh, I don't know why. Instead of making a new text, I always Command J or duplicate the layer. Uh, something that I always have in my head. And we're gonna just change the color of this to white. Uh, take off. In fact, no, no, no. We're going to leave it. I'm going to change, uh, lower the size down to about 24. Is that 24 is okay? Drag it over in the middle of the Facebook text. And we're just going to go to green overlay. We're going to reset to default. And because the color is on white, as we just seen, if you lower the opacity, the black was just. Because it's white on white at the top, you'll notice no difference. Because it's black on white at the bottom, uh, and you lower on the opacity, the black will start to turn to grey until it gets to white. Uh, so it'll be white on zero, 100 on black, uh, black on black if it's on 100. Uh, so we're going to go somewhere in the middle, and something around the 56, about 60 mark. Works best, I feel. And I'm just going to change the text to click here there we go and final step duplicate that over like so and click here for Twitter you can maybe make them a little bit smaller in fact I think that's quite a bit too big that's what she said 20 I think that'll do 20 looks a little bit better actually a bit more sleek and professional uh, let's go ahead and make it on this one as well 20 there we go Everything is complete. There we've got the chrome effect. Why does it keep zooming in loads for? Anyway. There we go. That's what we were trying to make. Uh, what's, what's, what's he doing that for? There we go. That's what we were trying to make. This is really getting on there. That's what we are trying to make. And that's what we made. Obviously, the symbol difference is a bit lighter on this. I actually quite prefer the black. Or the dark color, uh, but in fact, just to make it a little more seamless and a little bit more perfect to the original, we'll just make this a light color, like so. Okay, okay. So there you go. That's what we're trying to create. That's what we created. There we have it. That uh, any hope you picked up some tips in this tutorial along the way. Sore throat at the moment, uh, but anyway, I've been kind of with Chrome Designs. I hope you liked the video. 
Uh, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm gonna go get a glass of water yet again and after another tutorial. Yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I'm gonna go ramble on now, so I'm gonna cut it off. Thanks for watching this video. I've said that about three times right now. Uh, but I'll see you guys soon. Bye.